and in Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, the Michigan Science Center right here in downtown Detroit recently, recently launched a new exhibit for families and educators looking for a fun educational field trip to plan. Take a look. If you're a parent out there and you see your kid is interested in something with STEM, just feed it. Give them an opportunity to learn that. And one of the first things we enjoy or are in awe of is the weather. Weather is a really interesting uh, part of science and learning about the environment around us because we experience it every day and it, and it changes. And that's what makes it so exciting. So the museum launched a new exhibit, Earth, Wind, Weather. It opened on Earth Day and it is here for the long run. We have no plans to, to, to put anything else in this space except for um, meteorological phenomenon and learning about the earth and earth systems. Uh, everything from the carbon cycle to the water cycle to understanding avalanches. The displays are about more than what you see. Other senses are engaged too. Having those sounds and the sights and things to touch create sort of a really sensory experience for you to get an understanding of whether, what weather is really like. Which lead to having fun while learning simultaneously. If you can have more sensory perception of different things in your environment, you can learn more. While maintaining health and safety in the COVID era. We have a clean team. Our clean team are in yellow vests. They get around and make sure um, not just on the hour, but all the time we are cleaning surfaces, disinfecting things. We're ensuring that you wear your mask. Earth, wind, weather combines the oohs and ahs of our planet with discovering the hows and whys. To give people a chance to really experience things, experience what the weather is like, but also take a step back and try to understand <laughs> some of the scientific principles that make weather work. Like the avalanche-like display where you can create a landslide by holding and tipping a sphere of sand. The point that kids like to do is to try to figure out exactly what does that angle need to be. So there's a little bit of mathematics there and geometry of trying to figure out what the angle is to cause the avalanche. Also, visitors can put their hand inside a 12 foot tall tornado, explore windswept alien landscapes, traverse the rift zone to learn more about geothermal energy and geysers, and dive into a hurricane to understand wind-ocean interactions and storm surge. Detroit's Michigan Science Center wants to give a greater awareness of the one planet we call home. The oasis in the galaxy is right here on planet Earth, the third planet from the sun. We need to protect it, enjoy it, and appreciate it. And inspire the scientist in your heart and in your home. We want to raise up the next generation of Earth scientists, meteorologists, atmospheric, maybe planetary, comparative planetologists. <laughs> we want people to, to be like you, Andrew. <laughs> I must tell you, Grant and Nick, from my experience firsthand, I must say, my family and I went to the Michigan Science Center yesterday, went into earth, wind, weather, had a fabulous time. My, th my three, now four-year-old son, absolutely enjoyed it. He really loved the tornado, maybe a chip off the old block. And many other families, will, I think, will enjoy it as well. Earth, wind, weather just shows why the Michigan Science Center continues to be a part of the capital of innovation and discovery right here in Detroit and Southeast Michigan. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. I'm surprised he came back. That's the definition of a kid in a candy <laughs> yeah, store right there. Seriously. <laughs> Some of that stuff looked like fun to me, though. <laughs>